Now, on this question, we have studied how to use the law of total probability. And we, we saw how to condition events on other events so that calculating their probabilities becomes easier. Now, let's change the question a little bit. Now, we were asked, what is the probability of selecting a black ball? And then, what is the probability of selecting a red ball? Next question is, let's say I throw the die. I don't tell you the outcome of the die, and I take whatever um, the outcome of the die dictates, but you are unaware of the result of the die. And then I pick a ball from that urn, and you see that it is red. So the question is, if I pick, pick a red ball, you don't know the outcome of the die, but you know the outcome of the urn. It's red. What is the probability that the die outcome was three? Now, here, this is the other way around, okay? If you know the outcome of the die, you can deduce the probability of picking red, right? We saw that earlier. But now, this is the other way around. You are given the information that the outcome is red. And in this situation, using this knowledge, you want to compute the probability that the die outcome was actually three, which you do not know. Now, how to do this? Now, if the question was red given three, this was easy. Why? Because here, if the outcome is three, I use R number two, and I see there are five reds here, so the probability is five over 10. Right, I know that, that is five over 10. But you see, the question is not this. The question is, what is the probability of three given red? Right, this is the other way around, okay? So how to compute this? Now here, the famous Bayes rule comes into the picture. Take the definition of conditional probability. Probability of A given B times probability of B equals the intersection, the probability of the intersection. But as you know, I can write this the other way around because this is A intersection B essentially is equal to B intersection A, obviously. So I can write this as equal to probability of b given a times probability of a, the condition now. The condition has changed, okay? So when you remove this, you see probability of a given b times probability of b is equal to probability of b given a times probability of a, right? So from one, I can arrive at the other, right? So I can write probability of a given b in terms of probability of B given A, right, from this equality. Similarly, I can write probability of B given A in terms of probability of A given B. So if I have one, I can obtain the other. And this is the Bayes rule. Okay, so coming back to the question. If I pick a red ball, what is the probability that the die outcome was three? So probability of three given red, okay? So to obtain this, I want to write this as probability of three and red, okay? Divided by probability of red by definition of conditional probability, okay? You see this here in the numerator is uh, the intersection. But I now, at this point, will write this as uh, a conditional probability in the other direction. So I'm going to write this as probability red given three times probability three, okay? By the definition of conditional probability, nothing more, divided by 
probability of red. Now you see, this is an easy problem. This I automatically know, probability of three, obviously one over six. Probability of red given three, when the outcome of the die is three, you see, uh, I'm going to use urn number two. So red given three is five divided by 10. That's easy enough. And I only need this, which I computed earlier. Let's see the result. Probability of red is three over 10. So put this here. So you obtain the result. Five over 10 times one over six times 10 over three. The result is five over 18.